Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. <laughs> you ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. You. You're free to go. <laughs> Not really, but you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly <laughs> spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then. What are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Take that! Is... is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious! Th this is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. 
There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, The Tunisian Archaeological Exhibit Open! No, thank you. No. Yeah, so apparently there's something in that cake, and uh, he used it to escape, and then I got fired. Pretty lame, huh? Yeah, I don't really like this. Uh, please shut up. Oh, I just, I was, I was just trying to have a conversation, you know. Ah! I just, I was, I was just trying to. Uh, I gotta warn some. Come look at this. I'm getting chaos readings at 10.6. It's coming from the museum. My god, it's over 9? Yeah. I'm leaving this decision up to you, Corporal. Just hit one of those buttons to deal with this pressing situation. <laughs> Who's watching TV? Get back to work! Well, sorry, Chief.
Well, well. Look who finally decided to wake up. You've been quite elusive, but your skills make you worth the catch. You'll be perfect for the job. We've been having some issues with a group of thieves known as the Top Hat Clan. We know they're guilty, we just can't pin them down in crimes. You'll be going into the airship to bring them down. I don't need to remind you that we've got you on several charges. Attempted robbery, breaking yourself out of prison, <laughs> even stealing a Tunisian diamond. We've got quite a lot of counts on you. Do this job right, and we'll drop all charges against you. Charlie here will be bringing you close to the airship. The rest is up to you. Find a way to bring him down, and you'll be a free man. Hey, uh, how do you want me to bring you in? going on. Looks like he set off some sort of alarm in the vault. What? He's going rogue? All right, move to plan B. Call in reinforcements and move in. Yeah, this is Jeffrey. Uh, I got him right here, so you guys don't need to
of here. We've got chaos at our front doorstep. We're not built to deal with this, man. Go. Evacuate everyone. Forget about it. We've got to retreat, or else the Topic Clan will be history. What is Ken? Let him go. What? We got what we came for. He's not worth the trouble. Some of the most cunning and notorious criminals are kept here, and now we have the infamous Henry Stickman. You're going to be here for a long time. Grigori, take him. You wait here until cell found. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing like 70 damage. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, last night. Okay. Oh yeah, last night. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. If we can get you up there, you could get in and open this door. Say all inmates is out of cell. Yeah, some idiot. Hey, I just grabbed them. these. Maybe they'll come in handy. Are we waiting for someone or I thought you press. We'll regroup with that. There is convict here. Get down on ground. Oh, I don't like it. Help! Back to your cell inmates. Boing. Twack. You win. Perfect.
What, you think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Thanks, I guess. Now let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't Henry. There has not been an incident here in 50 years, and the day you show up, this happens. You are going to regret everything. Mm -hmm. Almost there. You've heard of the Topat Clan, right? They have a secret base out here. I'm hoping they might let us join up with them now that we're on the run. Should be right around the. Huh? Hang on! Yes, sir. We found them. They took the bike here just like you said. I'm on the way. Send in the entire squad. It seems like some other government is here. They are fighting with the Topats. Don't worry about them. Focus on Henry and the girl. You okay? We gotta get out of here, we're sitting ducks. Get the prisoners! Open fire! Let's try and get up to the- Two enemies, towards the launch tower! Got one of them right here, bro. Nice! Now where's the other one? Hey, brother. You serious? One month into your training. This is only the beginning. It will be hard. Bukowski twins, you boys will never be fit for combat duty. I will personally see to it that you are discharged. Let's try and get up to the. You good? Alright, let's get going. The rocket is launching in two minutes. Once we get to the top of this tower, we'll cross the bridge and be on the rocket. Hopefully the Top Hat Clan will let us join. Uh. Dad, they are here, on the bridge. Open fire! Roger that. Quickly! <laughs> Hold it! You're not top it. No, 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 we're here to join you. We're wanted, just like all of you. Wait, you're the guy that stole our ruby. You do have some skills. We'll let you join, as long as you return the ruby. Don't move! Those two belong to me! You're coming with us. Hey, this is Charles. I'm following up on that disturbance we saw at the bridge. Yeah, turns out the top ad leaders are here. Wait, is that Henry? Henry? Come on, help me take down the top hat! What do we do?
three. Hmm. This is two, quite the predicament. One. Too. We've had you on our watch list for a while. Thanks for your help here today. I didn't think we could trust you after last time. I guess we owe you one. Well, now that you mention it, we do have kind of a criminal history problem. Yeah, I figured that was coming. I suppose you've earned a pardon. 